and welcome back to the Be Jones Style channel. Today's video is who, what, where, where a virtual travel vlog. We are back for another who, what, where, where a virtual travel vlog, which is a series I'm doing here on my channel that allows us to pretend and escape into places all over the country. And we are going to travel around the world. The way this works, I invite a local expert from a city, a town around the world. I ask them to send me all of their favorite places, just as if I'm traveling there, where I should thrift, where I should go vintage shopping, where I should stay, eat, get coffee, have brunch, all the things that I want to know if I am going to these places. And then the really fun thing is I pretend to go to this place and I dress up what my look would be if I was going there. Today we are off to a place I'm very excited about because it's conjuring up so many fun dress up options for me. We are off to Jacksonville, Florida, and we're gonna meet up with Virginia in Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm so excited about this because Florida, you know I'm gonna go with some Gucci moments, channel that retiree in Florida, some of the colors of Florida, I cannot wait. Before we meet Virginia and dress up all the Florida fun, I wanted to introduce you to today's sponsor. This video is in collaboration with with Zenny Optical. I loved the idea of working with Zenny for this video because I felt like all the looks for Florida needed some quirky eyewear and they're the perfect source to find all of the different styles I want. And what I really love is they have a lot of options with the blue light lens. A few things I really like about Zenny is that first, they have a virtual try-on and a face shape analyzer. I always think that's really important, especially when you're shopping online, to know if what you're shopping is going to actually look good on your face and you can try on all the different glasses virtually. Another thing I really like is there's so many options. I love when a company helps you shop based off your style. They have a whole section on their website called called style shops where they have all of these influencers and tastemakers selecting and curating a selection for you. So you can shop by sporty, edgy, bold, all the different styles. When I was selecting my glasses, I chose to go with the blue light lenses. They offer so many of these options, which help block all of the blue light that we're absorbing throughout our day. And I also just like the blue light lenses feel a little bit more always play dress up, like throw them on, throw on another pair, switch it up throughout the week. First of all, I chose these cat eye glasses. I felt like they were just really fun. I love the tortoise shell. I feel like it's quirky and fun and adds a little personality to the outfit. I always love an aviator moment and so I chose these in the forest color. I thought they added some retro funk. We are headed to Florida. So I had to pick some sunglasses. I loved this square shaped tortoise shell sunglasses. I love how large they are and they felt perfect for adding a major statement throughout your sunny day. And then finally, my favorite pair, these square tortoise shell glasses. This is the pair that has inspired all of my looks jetting off to Florida today. You can shop any of the Zenny optical lenses that I showed today. These are my curated selections of some really fun and unique styles. And they have so many different looks for you to choose from. So click the link down below to shop any of these specific glasses that I shared or any of the styles on the Zenny optical website. Okay, now we are ready to dive in to some Florida fun and meet Virginia, our local expert in Jacksonville. I discovered Virginia, I think through the hashtag always play dress up a few years ago and instantly I was like, I need to be friends with this girl because she is so amazing. She has the most incredible sense of style. Her home is my dream come true. It's just so full of so many unique treasures and finds. She loves a good thrift haul. She even does Instagram stories where she shares all of her thrift finds, which I am always in awe and shock of what she can find in Florida. It's so good. So I'm so excited to hear more about Jacksonville from her today. Then I'm excited to escape off to Jacksonville and channel some of that Florida energy while I get dressed. 
Hi there, I'm Virginia Shamley, at vshamley on Instagram. I am a writer and an artist and an antique stealer and an absolute maniac about thrifting. It's something that Beth and I have bonded over virtually for years. Um, and I often take to Instagram to share my thrift finds from my home in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville is on the Northeast coast of Florida at the very, very tip top of the state, practically in Georgia. And I think the best thing about Jacksonville is a, the proximity to the ocean. It's really hard to beat that. The beach is a pretty magical place. And also uh, we have an insane amount of really good vintage shopping. Florida in general is home to obviously an aging population, but it's also a transplant state. So people are moving here, getting rid of their old things, making way for new things. And those of us who love to secondhand shop like I do, reap the benefits of that. <laughs> My favorite place to go thrifting is probably the Salvation Army on Beach Boulevard in Jacksonville's Southside neighborhood. I think Salvation Army and Goodwill stores in general just really know what they're doing in terms of how to merchandise their items so that they're easily accessible. They often have sales, so generally any day you go, some portion of the store will be on sale. And also the merchandise turns over really, really quickly. So if you go from week to week, you're likely to see different things every time you visit. My favorite vintage store is Fans and Stoves in the Five Points neighborhood. Five Points is a really fun and funky part of Jacksonville. And Fans and Stoves is kind of an institution. They have a great collection of dealers. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted by these really oversized glass cases full of jewelry and all of the jewelry is super, super affordable. So one great example of that is I once got a really killer gold Karl Lagerfeld choker for $12, which is kind of unheard of. But in addition to jewelry, they have really good vintage clothing. They have dealers specializing in records. They have mid-century furniture. They have art, antiques pretty much anything you can dream of. And because it's in a really walkable part of Jacksonville, their merchandise turns over very, very quickly. So you're likely to spot new things every time you go in. It's also very, very affordable. So it's a great place to shop. Right up the street from Fans and Stoves is my favorite coffee shop. It's called Brew Five Points. Not only do they have the best coffee in town, and I am personally partial to the oat milk lavender latte, but they have really good pastries and they have killer breakfast tacos, which is exactly the kind of thing you want to eat before you go thrifting, in my opinion. Favorite restaurant is definitely Restaurant Orsay. It's a modern French restaurant in Jacksonville's Riverside Avondale neighborhood. Really good brunch, really great happy hour. The jalapeno margarita is excellent, but you really want to go for the fresh oysters and the steak frites on like a date night or a girls night. Really good way to close out the day. Where to stay in Jacksonville? I think you wanna stay near the beach. So I would suggest Hotel Palms in Atlantic Beach. Hotel Palms is a vintage motel that was converted into a really chic, really modern, very Instagram friendly hotel. It's steps from the water. It's walking distance to really good coffee shops and boutiques and restaurants. And it's super fun and funky. They have a great pop-up coffee bar on the weekends. You can grab a glass of wine at night. Um, they have fire pits outside. It's just kind of a cozy, comfortable, affordable place to stay. And I think it gives you a taste for the type of town Jacksonville is, which is a little more laid back um, than South Florida. Just kind of a, an easy breezy place to take a vacation. So I hope that I shed some light on Jacksonville, where I am from and on thrifting. I hope you will follow me at the Shamley on Instagram and reach out to me if you're ever in Florida and you want a recommendation or also if you just want to talk about thrifting because it's my favorite thing in the world to talk about. I am so inspired by Virginia by the thought of going to Jacksonville, Florida. Anytime I've seen her shop <laughs> and share her hauls, I'm just like, please take me there. It just feels like the treasures she finds always are just amazing and it's crazy stuff that it's just all there in Florida. And I'm so excited to style up looks inspired by the idea of going off 
for a weekend into Jacksonville. The first thing I always do when I'm jetting off to a new place is I gather inspiration of the look that I wanna channel while I'm there. Because we're headed off to Florida, I definitely wanted to create looks that were inspired by the color scheme that happens when you're in Florida, idea of sunshine, and a little bit of that resort wear vibe. So I'm going to share a few of the images that are inspiring me today as I dress up my looks. We're gonna pretend we're off for a day of thrifting and vintage shopping, catching dinner in the evening, and then the next day finishing up with a really delicious brunch, grabbing coffee as we leave from the weekend. While I was hunting for some inspiration, I came across this image from Tori Birch's Spring 2021 show, and instantly I thought this is the perfect Florida look. I love this look. It is full of so many fun colors. It feels very much inspired by Florida. A little bit of a resort wear, a little bit classic, like a woman who grew up in the 70s and now she's retired into Florida. I also love that she's wearing glasses in this shot. Since we're going to be styling looks with these quirky glasses, I like that glasses are part of this. With that, I hopped into Tori Birch's Pinterest and it was full of so much inspiration different women wearing her collection. I loved all the colors. It felt like spring in Florida, but also something that you can wear right now with layers and layering things up. I'm going to be channeling a little bit of this idea of preppy art teacher retires to Jacksonville. Florida. So she's got the artist in her. She's a little bit preppy, a little bit quirky. She's retired to Florida and that is what I'm going to go with for these looks. Whenever I travel, I always choose a few pieces that are going to carry me throughout the looks. Usually these are my accessories and my shoes because I don't want to overpack. For these looks, I decided that the Zenny square glasses are going to be my repeating accessory. Also, you can't go to Florida without a really great hat. And I love this one because it is a straw hat, but it does feel like it could be seasonless and it adds all the quirky elements that I want in these looks. And then finally, loafers are going to be featured in all of the looks. I loved the use of loafers in the Tory Burch collection and I love that these are yellow. I think I'm going to go with a lot of yellow and green and cream and maybe some touches of brown. Anytime I'm filming a video, I feel like I channel the character that I'm going to dress up. So you can see that today's outfit was very inspired by this idea of jetting off to Florida. Still in the winter, but you know, it's not crazy cold there. So we are all the quirky, preppy, art teacher retiree in Jacksonville, Florida with this outfit. But I think we should dress up the looks now. We are off for a day of thrifting. Starting with this as the base to the outfit. Inspired by my fun and quirky glasses from Zenny, I went with just a lot of browns and like I said, a lot of yellows. I am putting this polka dot bow tie blouse, tucking it in, to some very fun and printed pants. These are from Cameo Appearance Vintage. These are for sale. I'll put a link below so that you can DM Sarah and grab them if you want. I loved the idea of doing a very 1960s printed pant. And then I paired them with some really quirky zigzaggy socks and the staple shoe for all the looks, my yellow Tiller and Thomas loafers. Now we need to go and get the rest of the outfit. I decided I needed another print to add to this outfit. And so I grabbed another piece from from Sarah's Cameo Parents Vintage Collection, this amazing Hawaiian jacket situation, and I added it to this look. I love that it's a different print, but it's all the same color, so it almost looks like a set, but it's not. It adds even more quirky factor to this. I let the bow tie blouse kind of peek out there. It does have the really amazing disco collar feature, and... Now I just need to add the accessories. All about these accessories. In my Jacksonville look, the repeating hat that will be in all of the looks, the amazing Zenny square glasses. And then you might remember I got these when I was at Pickwick. Huge gaudy gold earrings with giant pearl drop. Holy cow, so much fun. And then I always like to be hands-free when I'm thrifting. And so I did a belt bag from HSF Collective just to cinch it in a little bit more and to put all my things so that I'm ready for a day of vintage and thrift shopping. Virginia! 
I'm ready for you. I'm ready for a day in Jacksonville to hit up all of those amazing thrift stores from the bottom to the top. We are off for an evening out in Jacksonville grabbing dinner and we're starting here. I had to do the idea of a white and gold leisure suit. So I pulled out my dreamy, fun, floaty white trousers that I've had for a while. These are cachet that I found. And then I threw over this houndstooth, very gaudy gold cardigan. It feels very Chanel. I feel like this woman would wear Chanel in Jacksonville, Florida. Got on my square glasses. And then because of all the gold, I decided I needed one more pair of shoes. So I grabbed out my mango loafers that have the big gold chains on them because I felt like I needed more of like that slipper effect with this look. But we've got to finish zhuzhing. Final details added to this outfit are this amazing orange chain belt. I cinched it in tight and even pulled the cardigan out to add a little bit of a peplum flare there. I pulled out the same big gold and pearl earrings, the hat, why not? And then I decided I needed an amazing bag to carry with this look. So I did this brown and gold circle bag, which is so much fun. I'm ready for dinner out with Virginia, grabbing some drinks, grabbing something delicious from the bottom to the top. For the final day, we're going off to brunch in Jacksonville and this is where we're going to start. I decided I needed like a golf polo and so I took this rusty brown polo shirt that's vintage Chanel and I paired it with another cameo appearance vintage skirt. Again, I'll put her link below. This is purchasable, it actually comes in a set. I loved the green playing on the Florida colors but then mixing it with darker tones like this rusty brown because it is still winter and it pairs perfectly with my square tortoiseshell glasses. And then to add some layers because I did check the weather in Jacksonville and it's actually gonna be kind of chilly So I felt like I needed some socks. I pulled on these golden green socks knee highs from Swedish stockings. I love the shimmer and shine of them and then as usual I paired them with the yellow loafers. And now let's finish off the look. We had to add a little bit of some athleisure resort wear and so I decided this look needed a rain jacket. There is rain predicted for this weekend in Jacksonville and I liked the idea of pulling out my butter yellow rain jacket. Going along with the theme of the art teacher, I added just this sculptural kind of unique necklace. It always feels like a collector's piece and I feel like this art teacher would wear this to Jacksonville. I threw on my big starburst pearl earrings, the hat that I'm wearing and all the looks. Just for some classic 70s detailing, I grabbed my Cezanne bag. I love that it is that rusty brown. It's also in the shirt here. This feels easy breezy, but also dressed up for a morning brunch in Jacksonville, grabbing some coffee, hanging out with Virginia, and just talking about all of our finds from yesterday. So from the bottom to the top, this is me brunching in Jacksonville. That is it. I have traveled to Jacksonville. I love doing this series so much because it's just so much fun to kind of pretend for a little bit that I'm going somewhere new and that it, that place is inspiring all of my looks. You should really try this. It's such a brain boost to kind of pick a location, decide what the story is while you're there and let that location inspire your outfits. I loved creating this quirky art teacher that's going off to Jacksonville to visit Virginia and man, all the places she said sound so dreamy. I hope I really do get to go there someday. And that's it for this episode of Who, What, Where, Where. I loved going to Jacksonville. I just wanna thank Virginia for sending all of her suggestions and for sending in her video. It was so much fun to see here. I think next time we should go somewhere international. So 
get ready to travel internationally with me next month. Also, just a quick reminder to click the link down below to shop any of the glasses that were featured in my Zenny Optical haul, as well as these amazing square glasses that I wore throughout all of the looks. I will be wearing these a lot. And I wanted to remind you, if you haven't signed up for the weekly scoop email, please do. I'll put the link down below so that you can sign up. I send out an email on Tuesdays that are all about inspiration, also featuring members of the Always Play Dress Up community. And then on Thursday, I have added an email that goes out along with the video that is just an extension of the video. So you're, all of the places that Virginia mentioned, they will be featured in today's email, as well as all the links following Virginia, getting the whole scoop on her and Jacksonville in general, and then breaking down the looks, or if you wanna pin any of the images, they'll all be there for you to do that. Make sure you're signed up. And that's it for this edition of Who, What, Where, Where. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have new videos every single Tuesday and Thursday. And finally, always play dress up. Bye!